Hello Trish the Gone Gardener. Today I'm looking at pruning this Eremophila. The common name is Emu Bush. It's a shrub from Western Australia and we're on Eastern Australia in Wollongong. So because of that we need to get a grafted specimen. This particular Eremophila is Eremophila pink panther. So Eremophila glabra cross nivea. So what I want to show you is how to prune it out of the walkway and away from the letterbox and also how to make it more compact. Now when this was younger, when it was only about 30 centimetres or a foot high, it should have been pruned more often to thicken it up, but it wasn't, so it's gone woody. So we'll just do our best here and we'll give it a prune to, to try and thicken it up. So, to deal with the walkway, what we do is, we'll get the stem, I'll just take it right back to the center there and take the whole shoot out. Now the reason I do that is because when you cut the stems back hard into the wood, like say if I were to cut that one back there, it just looks a bit sticky. So I'd rather cut it right back off for these ones in the walkway. So I'll do that with all of these, cut it back to a main stem. Then these ones in front of the letterbox, cut it right back. So we'll get these ones off. And this one. So as you see, we've opened up this side and we've got it away from encroaching on the letterbox. Now, you don't have to do that unless you need to open up a walkway. So you're best off not doing that. So the next thing we do is we want to make it bush up. So to do that, we look at where the growth points are. So you can see you have a lot there. So what you do is you grab it like that and prune it. Then this one here, it's got quite a few leaves on it and do that. So you do that all over the bush, every single point that you can. Now it's important to do this after flowering and during the growing season. You don't want to do this going into winter. Now with Eremophila, it's best to prune them twice a year. They do flower on new wood. So if you prune it straight after flowering, like just now it's finished flowering, you'll just see a finishing flower here. So this has just been into flower. So after it's been into flower, it gets a growth spurt, so if you prune it, it will shrub out. So after it's shrubbed out, like a few months later, give it another prune to thicken it up again. So I'll do that in the next video. So I'm just going to do all the tips. So see how this one here, it's got this growth tip here. Don't worry about that. It's got a lot there, so they're the ones we want to snip. So just go like that. Just to, so we've got a lot of growth points there. And that one there, I'm just going to do that. And this should really bush it up. But it's rather like lavender. You can't really cut back into the hardwood with success all the time. So just thicken it up. It's a bit sticky. That one there, I'm taking the whole thing out because there's not much to it. So we're better off just taking the whole thing out. And we'll do the same in here. 
See how there's not much to that? So if that was pruned when it was young, it would have been better. So just keep going. Nearly all done. I've just got to get in here. So I've done every tip to thicken it up. So that's it for now so I'll come back in a couple of months time before winter this is a temperate climate so we can get quite into um, autumn to give it a second prune and uh, try and bush it up again so when it flowers um, the following year in spring we'll have more flowers and we'll have a more compact bush so we'll see how we go okay thanks for watching see you next time